Welcome to Swim Real Estate Questions and Answers. I am your host, Chuck Murundi, exclusive buyer's agent in sunny Squim, Washington. So today I want to answer a question that comes up uh, quite regularly, and it's about wells. A lot of my buyers are from areas like Los Angeles or other metropolitan areas, San Diego, um, all the way over to uh, Boulder, Colorado, and all around the metropolitan uh, areas uh, in the country. And they have a question that goes like this. Well, I've been on a municipal well system my entire life. If I move to Squim, some of the homes I'm looking at are on a private well. I'm not sure about private wells. Don't know anything about them. Sounds a little scary to me. Okay, so today we're going to talk about private wells, compare them a little bit to municipal water systems around the country, and give you some information that will help you evaluate and uh, make your own uh, decisions regarding private wells. So I want to show you that the Centers for Disease Control has a section that talks about water-related diseases and contaminants in water systems. And my only reason for showing you this site is to show you that this is a very real problem that um, health officials in the country have to pay attention to. Uh, it's, it's not so much in the uh, news, in the Main Street uh, press that we notice all the time, but it's a pretty big deal. And every once in a while, something comes up. Um, here's a, a couple of things I just want to point out. Here's 10 American cities with the worst drinking water. Now, this is just 10. There's a lot more cities with serious um, pollution problems in their water systems. But notice this, unknown to most Americans, a surprising number of U.S. cities have drinking water with unhealthy levels of chemicals and contaminants. In fact, some organizations and state environmental agencies that collect and analyze water data say the level of chemicals in some Americans' drinking water not only exceeds recommended health guidelines, but the pollutants even exceed the limits set by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Now, if we jump down, I just want to point out a couple of things. Jacksonville, uh, Florida, 23 different toxic chemicals were found in Jacksonville's water supply. San Diego, 20 contaminants have been found. North Las Vegas, 26 contaminants compared with the national average of eight. I don't even like that. You know, the average is eight contaminants in municipal water systems. That doesn't sound too cool, does it? Omaha. Of the 148 chemicals tested for in Omaha, 42 were detected in some amount, 20 of which were above health guidelines. And here's one. Atrazine is an herbicide that has been shown to cause birth defects. If that isn't scary, I don't know what is. Houston found 18 chemicals exceeded federal and state guidelines. Reno, 21 discovered in the city's water supply, eight of which were detected in levels above EPA guidelines. Here we are in Riverside, California. 13 chemicals exceeded recommended guidelines. Las Vegas, where three of my adult children live, 12 were found in levels that exceeded EPA health guidelines. My uh, three children in Las Vegas, each are married, have their own homes, and they are told by water officials there not to drink the tap water. They all have to haul uh, wa fresh water in. And they're told that there is fecal matter in the municipal water system. Do not drink it. Riverside, California, they detected 15 chemicals that exceeded health guidelines. Pensacola, Florida, of the 101 chemicals tested for over five years, 45 were discovered. Of them, 21 were discovered in unhealthy amounts. Well, I have a lot of resources online here about private wells in Squim. If you're thinking about buying a home, uh, you can go to my uh, Squim real estate blog and, and learn a lot about private wells, uh, well inspection, uh, nitrates and bacteria, and the lab tests that are done. Uh, Squim, for example, has a uh, water uh, municipal water system, if you're in the city limits, uh, that is at least uh, on their website listed as a, a, a very safe water system. Uh, but, um, but I'll tell you what, a private well, you can test that and you can find out that it is very, very pure, like mine is and like most wells in Squim are, private wells. And uh, we don't have to put fluoride or any other chemicals in there. 
And by the way, in our um, aquifers here, we have over um, 200 inches of rain in the Olympic Mountain Range. All of that water flows underneath us and squim out to the Strait of Juan de Fuca. There's no industrial or commercial development that pollutes our water in the aquifer. So we're in very good shape on that. But I, I do want you to know about these resources. If you want to do some further reading about squim uh, wells and well logs, uh, you can do that search right on my squim real estate blog. Here, for example, is an article where I explain how to find uh, well logs in squim and uh, show you exactly how to do that, explain how to do it, walk you through the process. You can pull up original well logs for any well that's uh, in the area. And, um, and I have a lot of other articles that you might enjoy reading, uh, how squim uh, well inspections work and what uh, to look out for. You can uh, do private well testing also. I have uh, videos and some of our wells in the area are on a small community well system. And so I'll share information with you there in this article and on the video. Um, more articles, a podcast on contaminated groundwater. Uh, more articles. This is, you know, these are articles I've written over the last, oh, dozen years or so. And uh, then we talk about the Dungeness Water Management Rule because uh, that affects uh, private uh, consumption of wells in that uh, geographic area. Uh, we talk about well cisterns, if you have a uh, low producing well and how that works. And we talk about whether or not private wells are even safe. I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, you know, you can do more research on YouTube and you find out that uh, polluted water in municipal well systems is much more widespread than people realize. And so uh, I'll tell you what, I think private wells are far safer. Now, there is a private well addendum that we do when we write an offer on a property, and it allows us to do the, the well inspection. Uh, if you're a buyer, you need to have a well inspection done, and uh, that's what this is all about. So we can do the well inspection for, for a flow test, gallons per minute, plus typically a nitrate and bacteria test. And I walk you through that process if I'm your buyer's agent. Well, I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you can always reach me at uh, chuckmarundi at gmail.com or just simply call me and ask me anything you want.